Hello everyone, it's me Jason here. It's been a while since I did an unboxing video and so today I've got something from a 3D workshop from or at the Bankulan No Affiliation, right? So we have got something from the Casio range and edifice at the back, the reference number is EFRS10 Delta 3AVUDF. Let's just check out what I bought for the first unboxing of the year. All right, so if you have, uh, you are familiar with the channel, you have noticed that this is a Casio edifice with the octagonal bezel i have done this review before in the uh white the white textured down i bought this because obviously you have to get a watch with that uh baby blue color the stickers are still on sapphire crystal i will pop up i will pop up the specs the stickers have been removed the bracelet resize all right i just share with you some thoughts as well as i share with you uh, how the watch looks like up in outdoor light. I've worn the similar watch before for a while, so I know where this is going. All right, so size for my six and one quarter inch wrist. Just to let you know, this was the last piece on display when I got it about a few days back. I was, uh, you know, indulging in some retail therapy, and the watch was there. The lady couldn't get me a uh, new piece, so she got me the display piece. Alright, so sapphire crystal, very thin bezel, very highly polished mid links. Alright, highly polished mid links. You can see the brush polishing, some you know, close up shots are in order later. Alright, so the crown, the crown is signed. Interestingly, the crown is. Sign on the case back. What do we've got? We have got Casio Edifice Sapphire Crystal. Things that I didn't like about the first iteration remains. That is, uh, we have got the press clasp. All right. So this watch, if you go to the website, I think it retails for one hundred and ninety nine Singapore dollars on the online store and. That's if you wanted to get the watch then and there, they would have sent it to your home, you know, free of charge. Uh, I definitely got a discount from this, a uh, very sizable and expected discount from uh, 3D Watch Shop. Not that I was sponsored, but they do give good discount, so you can check it out. Alright, so i uh, give you some quick dimensions. We are looking at integrated bracelet, so we have got meal and links. Bring the watch up to 50 meters, uh, 50 millimeters uh, across. And then if we were to look at it, inclusive of the crown, inclusive of the crown, we are looking at 41, uh, 40.2 mm, eh, 40.2 mm, am I, did I get it right? 41.2 mm inclusive of the crown. Because he has got a uh, quartz movement, a very slim 8.3 mm thick all right so the bracelet the lug width if you were able to get a uh, you know a uh, inverted lux all right inverted lux like those you see for the uh tiso prx we are looking at uh 22.2 mm all right 22.2 mm all the way down to the buckle how how what's the thickness at the buckle all right, so 17.6 mm at the buckle. All right, uh, why did I sell the first watch that was in the white color version? Very simple, it's just very slim and overall the watch, you know, I'm not sure what to make of it. Is it supposed to be a dress watch or is it supposed to be a sporty watch that just feels thin coincidentally and you know i am in i'm an into uh you know the hobby of making this video so i do i did buy it then for the clicks as well as now All right so i've got this edifice in this uh baby blue or tiffany blue or however and to clickbait the title out of it i saw recently i think it was late last year i've got a uh, casio 
the retro looking Casio with almost the same color a uh, citizen in the baby blue as well as the Suyosa in the baby blue so I think we have uh, we are pretty much about done with this color way all right we are pretty much done with this color way uh, in terms of where you know for the price point I think two hundred dollars is is just too much can expect 20 to 30 percent discount anyway at that price point you can wear it you can you know get this watch beat up and then it shouldn't be an issue because it's sapphire crystal as well as a uh, what do we call it a uh, quartz movement how does the loom compare how will the loom perform i will just uh bring up the shots 100 meters of water resistance all right so it's pretty much a go anywhere do anything kind of watch uh personally i prefer i prefer the uh aquaterra over this style of watch the uh, casio aquaterra over this style of watch because uh this feels a bit slim and dress like whereas the omega the casio the casio aquaterra uh, it feels more sporty, at least more masculine. All right, so that's all I have for you. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.